Hello, one and all. This is Luckless Love Locks, and welcome to Return of the Obra Dinn. This is the latest game by the creator of Papers, Please, a game that I really loved playing, Lucas Pope. Just came out a couple of days ago, and it has a really weird art style. Reminds me of like a classic uh, Mac, Apple computer game, but in 3D, first person 3D. So it's gonna be, it's gonna look a bit weird. And it's described as an insurance adventure with minimal color. <laughs> so, I guess we're playing as like an insurance investigator or something, investigating an event that happened on a ship. <laughs> it's, I love playing these offbeat games. So um, this is this is exactly the kind of game that I look for every single day because I just I just love strange stuff like this. Um, so without further ado, let's jump into Return of the Ober Din. I'm excited to go on this adventure with you. I hope you are also. Let's go. No fate solved. All right, let's begin. Lost at sea, 1803, the good ship Oberdin. Built in 1796, London, 800 tons, 18 foot draft. Captain R. Wittrell, crew 51 men. Last voyage to Orient, Cape Rendezvous unmet. Contact East India Company, London office for inquiries or testimony. 1796, 51 crewmen okay the good ship oberdin the honorable east india company attention chief inspector i guess that's us i don't know insurance and claims london office or we just work for them the oberdin has returned dispatch to falmouth immediately and prepare a full assessment okay can i Okay, that's it. I guess there's nothing on the other side or anything like that. Found with England, 1807. Company man woke me up. Said you'd need ferry to the old bread inn. Not many eager for that job. Seems a bit late if you ask. I didn't. Huh. What's in the box? I don't know. I'll hoist it up in a few minutes. Hey! How? Carefully. Don't know what's in the box. So it was lost in 1803, and this is it's in 1807, I think. Look at how strange this is. Can I talk to him? I don't know if I can look in the box either. Hey, right, well, let's board the ship. Oh man, look at the. I presume it's the moon. It is nighttime. Looks like nighttime. That looks so... <laughs> it looks so bad and so good at the same time. It looks like the sails have been torn up. That one's maybe wrapped up a bit. Oh, cool. Look at the reflection. Is that supposed to be the reflection... Now you can zoom in. Of the moon, I guess? That's weird. It doesn't... Huh. No, that's the reflection. So what is that supposed to be? Something out in the water? I'm not sure. Something on the ground over there. Oh, man, a skeleton. Flies buzzing around it. Damn. Oh, I don't know what I'm, what am I supposed to be looking for? Oh. 
<laughs> okay, what is that? I guess he's trying to carry the case up, but he can't do it. Pardon me? Some really it's too heavy. Lift it yourself. Oh man, what am I paying you for? Like some small crew quarters. Can't open any of those. It's locked. Oh, it's got an X. Guess that means locked, I don't know. That one's got an X too. Locked. Oh, an axe. Hmm. Killed by axe then, maybe? I don't know. Don't see any they're not showing really like any blood. Another little crew quarters. Can't seem to oh I noticed the chair is knocked over here. Can't seem to uh open anything up. I don't even I don't want to walk over that body. Can't seem to interact with anything else. I think we... Oh. Yeah, we, like, put our hand out. And we can interact with something. What are we... It's too heavy. Take it yourself or open it here. What a strange game. Okay, we opened it up. D. D to change pages. Okay. Return of the Obra Dinn, a catalog of adventure and tragedy, 1807. Preface. I trust that you now find yourself aboard the Obra Dinn. I expected this day to come, and my very intention was to tell the ship's strange tale within the pages of this book. Regrettably, failing health has allowed me to produce only the basic outline that follows. Your presence on the Ober Din is critical. I leave the discovery of its fate and the completion of this book in your hands. The next few pages will seem bewildering at first. All will make sense in time. Use the pocket watch to determine the identity and fate of everyone aboard. Complete each chapter accurately and return the book by guaranteed post to the French Office of Affairs in Morocco. The bargain chapter will remain unknown to you. I possess the details within, but have elected to keep them private for now. Oh, the mystery. Henry Evans. Contents. One, the journey, the ship, the crew, life at sea, sketch. 133 glossary, back cover 135. Loose cargo, a bitter cold, murder. The Calling, Unholy Captive, Soldiers of the Sea, The Doom, Bargain, Escape the End. Okay. I guess we can skip around in the book by clicking on these. The Journey, Atlantic Leg of the Far East Route. Oh, okay. Oh, I right clicked and closed it. So started there. Madeira, Canary Islands, Cape Verde. Around Africa. What does the magnifying glass do for us? It 
This is, this is, like, this is bizarre. Around the southern tip of Africa, I guess. Okay. The ship. Deck plans for the Oberdin. I can't, oh, I can't click on it. Starboard walk. I, assuming that's where we were. Crew surgery carpenter shop. Oh. Oh, wow. The cargo hold. Captain's cargo. Bosun's store. Passenger cargo. Lazarette. Man, I don't know much about ships, so... I apologize. I'm like... Some of this stuff won't... <laughs> won't make sense to me. Gunner's store. Port walk. Passengers. Over here. Purser's office. I don't know what the purser does. I don't know what the bosun does. I've heard the term before. I don't really know what it means, though. The gun deck. Bosun, bosun. Does it say bosun mate? Second mate, fourth mate. So, the... I'm trying to think, like, what did we... Where did we go in? the main deck so those are passenger cabins the captain's quarters is that the back okay the crew uh robert woodrell is the captain william hoskett is the first mate edward nichols oh the fate huh We had to figure out the fate of all of the crewmen. From China. Hmm. Topman. Russia. Man, there's people from all over the world on this ship. So what happens if I click here? We have to identify who's who. Whoa. That's what the magnifying glass is for. Okay. I have no <laughs> idea. Royalty. Justice at sea. Someone got hung. ES. Is there an ES here? I'm really intrigued. This is... This looks like it's a very... A very kind of like loose game. Loose cargo. On the cargo deck. Part one, it's all blank. Part two, on the cargo deck. Two, a bitter cold. So it's just, just all... On the Arlop deck? Murder. So it's just not filled out. Outside the first mate's window. The calling. So it's giving, it looks like it's giving us some clues as to where to go. And we're just filling this book in on the cargo deck again. In the, in the port walk, on the cargo deck, doom, in the bow, the gun deck, inside the captain's quarters. This chapter will remain unknown until you leave the ship and return the book to me. Henry Evans. What was the initials again? ES. It's different. This is so weird. Let me get skip forward. Okay, how do I put this away? Back cover. Okay. Open, close, book, tab, cues, table of contents. Glossary. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. I think I know what the captain does. What's the bosun? Boatswain. Foreman in charge of general crew operations and the equipment required to sail the ship. The purser. Administrative official accounts for all cargo value and trade transactions. Manages a small item store for crew. I think I know what the surgeon does. 
Which shipment? Officer in training. Assist various officers and tradesmen in order to learn ship operations. Usually a privileged status. Okay, so kind of almost like a teacher. Topman. Higher rated seaman specializing in work above the deck and the sails and rigging. Makes sense. Seaman is just a general laborer. Yeah. Rigging is personal responsible for the sails. Ropes and chains supporting the mast and used for working the sails. Orlop deck. What is that? Mid deck. Above the lowest deck. Containing storage cabins, animal pens, and the ship's steering tiller. All right. So tab. That must be the compass they were talking about. Or, oh, sorry. The pocket watch. Mento mortem. Remember death. And that's it. Come on, you couldn't carry a book in a pocket watch, man? Oh, look at that cage. Is that for... They mentioned animals. I wonder if that's for animals. It's... Busted, though. Huh. Oh, maybe there's a body there. Covered up? I think I'm supposed to use the pocket watch on this corpse to figure out who it is. There it is. Captain, open the door. Kick it in. Ah, lest we break it down and take more than those shells. You bastards may take. Exactly what I give you! What? Oh, okay. There's the axe. So there's like a mutiny? I can actually walk around. What? Can I interact with stuff? So there's two of them. And the captain shot one of them. So this is the captain. Got like uh is he not he's not wearing a shirt? He's got like a mustache and goatee. And I was gonna say ponytail, but no. He's, he's in his undies. Oh, 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 no. Oh, man. So we have... We have a limited amount of time. We start at the end. Who is this? How did they die? This unknown soul met an unknown fate. This person's face... Whoa. This ring indicates that you don't have sufficient information to determine their identity. I missed that bit, first bit. Their fate may be known and can be entered now. Trying to name them while their face is blurred would be unproductive. Carry on and pay attention. Is this the guy that got shot? I, I don't think he was wearing a hat like that. Faces will become unblurred when the information necessary to identify them is known, I guess it says. Can I, like, just, uh... Can I guess? I'm assuming that's the guy that got shot, because it said that we did know how he died. The gun. Captain. I think. Outside the captain's quarters, captain opened the door, kick it in. Lest we break it down and take more than those shells. 
more than those shells. You bastards may take exactly what I give you. He's got a... Like a so maybe that wasn't him. Can I change this? Unknown. Okay. Location of the corpse. The end part one. Three others were present. Unknown. It the the guy had a beard. Or is that the captain? Maybe that's the captain. That must be the captain. This person's face is no longer blurred, which means that they can now be identified. Use the book and the pocket watch to gather enough information to deduce their identity. Revisit memories on the ship using the pocket watch to study relationships, appearances, and activities. <laughs> I'm... <laughs> oh, why does it go by so fast? Determining everyone's identity. What? I'm not clicking, guys. You'll have to make assumptions using partial information. Some identities may only be revealed through a process of elimination. I'm assuming this is the captain. Good luck. Thanks, I can only read half of that. It doesn't tell me if I'm right or not. One memory. Memories where this person appears can be navigated from here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Book. Oh my god, why is that going by so fast? First memory. One. Show memories on deck map, depicted in Justice at Sea sketch. I really wish that didn't go by so fast. Okay, so it's just showing me where I can see that info. So if I want to experience that again, I actually have to like go there. I'm I'm guessing. I mean, I guess I can change that any time. Justice of C. Oh, okay. Justice of C sketch. That would make sense that he's a captain. He's kind of like at the front of everything. Guy, yeah, I know. Okay. Then they hang someone. Some dancing going on here. Now we're back. Can I go in? Oh, there's someone else here. And that must be to exit the memory. So who's this? That's pretty cool. Oh! That's that guy. That's really cool how it just brings it back into the uh, the drawing. Does that is that what it does with everyone else too? I didn't really try zooming in on their faces. It does, okay. That's the guy next to the captain, I think. He's one of the ones shooting at the guy that's hung. Still not. Uh... So those other ones are still not clear because we have no clue who they are. Yeah, he is shooting at one of the guy that's hung up. Okay. And I can come back to the memory anytime I want to, so let's keep investigating. Oh, 
Oh, and the door opened up. Ah, makes sense. And I'm assuming this door is still closed, right? That is really neat. Orders. I've got a few corpses here. There's a knife. Uh, sharp stick, like a spear. Okay. Where are they? Must be in here someplace. <laughs> They're at the bottom of the sea. That's a lie. Okay, so that's... That looks like the captain again, right? He is slitting one of their throats. So which guy is this? That's the guy that's shooting. So this was the guy um, to the left of the guy that was shot. And there's the there's the the guy dead. It looks like he's right next to the captain, right? So it looks like it could be one of the other top guys on the ship. Oh no, we're losing it. I mean, I can go back afterwards. So you don't, we don't have that much time in there. We really have to pay attention. Inside the captain's quarters, part two. So let's, hold on a second. I want to go back. This is the guy that was shot. Shot with a gun by the captain. So I think we've established that. Now this guy, I still not, I don't think we know who this is. He was stabbed. Stabbed. I mean, it wasn't really stabbed. It's more like uh, spike strangled, struck, torn apart. It was like slashed, almost he got knifed. I guess it was knifed by the captain. Man, this this guy was just like. You don't have sufficient information. That's pretty cool. It tells you that. Please explain. Captain, yeah. So this guy. It's the other dead guy. So this should take me back to that memory, right? There's the gun. Oh. Who's this guy? This is that's from the 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 party shot. I don't know who that is at all. Oh, he was, wasn't he? He was the other guy, right? That we saw in the previous one. He was on like the stairwell. He might have, so he might have like ran across from above and then dropped down. I think that was him. Can't go through the doors, okay. Yeah, so this is this is where he was before. He must have like run over here and jumped down there. Okay.
now there was another body. I'm assuming that's him, right? This body must be either the captain or it's the guy that jumped down. Let's take a look. Oh, the captain. The half-naked captain, of course. Smash the guy in the head with a stick. That's him. He is choking. Well, choking. His, his throat was slit. <laughs> That's, we could hear him choking. On his own blood. I don't know if we have to do this every time. And I think that's it. So that's how this is how this all this is how the story ended. The captain killing everyone. <laughs> so what would what would that I guess struck would be the death. Um, clubbed, maybe? Kind of speared. Because it looked like he was struck, though, not so much speared. Let's go clubbed. The captain. I don't know. <sighs> struck. Hooves, tail, wing. What? <laughs> Struck by a wing? Weird. I'm going to say clubbed, crushed, crushed, beast, cannon, cargo, rigging, crushed by stones. I'm, I don't know. Eaten. Great. <laughs> Great. Let's go, um, yeah, let's go with clubbed by the captain. So there's spots, I guess if there's multiple murders or something, yeah, that's, that's, that's getting clubbed. He's not really speared, like not, there's no stabbing going on. It's a swing of the, of the stick. And that was the guy, right? Yeah. Okay. So we got knifed, shot, and clubbed. Oh, this opened up. That another body? That looks like a woman. Oh, I couldn't really see. Oh, okay. One of the women that was uh, in the party dancing. Open the book while examining a face to flip directly to the sketch. Ah, okay. Unknown, yeah. So we can come back there. Oh, 
Oh, there's actually two corpses. Oh man, I can't. <laughs> I can't. This is so intriguing. I don't want to stop. What should we do? Her corpse first. So that was the captain's wife, I guess. And talking to Martin. Oh, this is getting way more complicated. Oh, oh. There's sea creatures, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, okay, we don't have much time. That must be Martin. Wait, can I? Shoot, who was that? There's, it's so, like, there's so many people there. This is like, where's Waldo? That's to the left of the captain. I think that's Martin. It's this guy here. Hmm. Martin Perot, third mate. That would make sense, right? Close to the captain. Is there any other Martins? I guess it wouldn't be Perot, it would be Perot. Martin Perot. I don't I don't see any other Martins. So I'm gonna guess that this is Martin. His face is um it's not blurred. Okay. And then hold on a second, hold on a second. Oh, I see it centers on the person in the uh the drawing when you go to it. Is there like passengers? Oh, which rel? So that must be Abigail. I don't think they said her name, but uh, it's Abigail Abigail Hoskett Winterell from Scotland. Winterell, and that's the captain's name, right? So that must be her. Shoot, I keep. Okay. Are they gonna give me more time? Not, so she was crushed by the ma by the mast, which was pulled down by some sea creature. Some octopus sea creature. There's two others at least. Wow, that is awesome. The Doom, Chapter 7. This is a whole different chapter. Outside the Canary Islands. Well, we know her fate. She was crushed by... Is it rigging? Crushed by falling rigging. This may or may not be correct. Fates are validated in sets of three. Correctly identify at least three people and their fates to have the information typeset into the book. I guess it's possible she didn't... Guidance. Oh, okay, so this is the help stuff. Fate validation. This is what they just showed us, right? Okay. What was the identifying people? I missed some stuff. Use book and watch, pocket watch to gather more information. Appearance and activities. Yeah. Kind of done that. Use the book maps crew, artist sketches, 
individual conversation logs to find clues about names, relationships, appearances, and roles. 60 people on the ship when it left England. Determining everyone's identity and fate will not be easy. <laughs> Decisive information is required. I really wish it didn't go by so fast. I think I get the gist of it, though. What was the last thing? Bookmarks? Review conversations on each. Oh, why is it so fast? Run the map and pay attention to the labels of the rooms where people and objects are found. Gotcha. If I have one complaint about this game, it's that it doesn't it's not allowing me to read aloud all the stuff it's teaching me. Use origins, roles, and relationships from depictions in the artist's sketch. Yeah. We kind of deduced that that guy was of importance because he was around the captain. Use the manifest. See all crew and passenger information in one place. Okay. Origins can have clues to the person's appearance or accent. I am so bad at identifying accents. Roles can give clues about where people are found on the ship and their relationship with others. Each person's manifest number is unique and may be useful in identifying them. Oh, okay. Number. So in threes, what do they mean by in threes? Ten others were present. We, we know enough to identify them. Because they're not blurry. We know enough to identify him as well. Oh, I was going to say, why isn't the captain there? But it's because he's not in this scene. Okay. The corpse was moved post-mortem. I see. So she could have died. I don't know if one of the options was like bleeding to death. She was, she's probably the one that was moved to the bed, right? So let's, let's go back. Why is it shaking like that? Not someone of great importance. The other two women. There's an action? What action? This guy's shooting at the... What the hell? Oh, there's something... There's something over here that's glowing. What? What is going on here? I'm so confused right now. I can't move. Is it saying that this is the same person? They were dragged to there. Whoa, okay. 
<laughs> this is so cool. Ripped apart by the sea monster. Oh, God. Who's this guy? The guy covered with tattoos, okay. I mean, we have we didn't get any clues as to like, well, he's covered with tattoos. Sorry, where is he? Didn't we see? Hold on. Oh, there he is. Okay, 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 okay. Hmm. I want to go back to... How do I go, like, back to the beginning? Okay, I can hold down the button. I think I'm just by by the way that those tattoos look might be Irish. How many there's I don't know why, but it just reminds me of like there's too there's too many though. Like there's we don't have enough information, but I want to say I have enough info, though. He's drinking. He definitely looks very distinctive compared to the rest. Let me take a look at this again. Formosa. Is that the family? Formosa royalty. Okay, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Hmm. Persia. There are like some. Like there's only one person from Persia, I think. I don't know, man. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna guess at that. I mean, I can. I can jump to that. Uh, that was the doom. Right there. They're kind of off course, aren't they? And that event that we witnessed was uh, part eight. It's like the end. Wow, okay, this is getting deep. Who's this guy? Hmm. He looks a bit better dressed. Man, that was part seven. Well, this guy got torn apart. I don't really know who it is yet, but he got torn apart, drowned, torn apart by an unknown attacker. By beast. <laughs> I don't know what else to call that. Terrible beast. Seems about right. Twelve others were present. Do I have enough to identify the other ones? The 
third mate was there. Okay. Then Abigail was crushed. Now that was, they said in threes. So are we going to get another vision here? Yeah. Of how this guy dies. Because we saw this guy on the ground over here, right? And then the rigging falls. Maybe one of the, that must be one of the Chinese guys. The rigging falls like somewhere over here, I think. Ah, I see. There's, there we go. That's, I was right. That's a cage for a creature and it looks like um, the bar isn't broken yet. There is a lot of info to absorb in this. Like, there's a sh there's a lot going on. Someone stuck a sword in him. Ugh. Nasty. Okay, what's going on here? Oh, okay, there's the corpse. So who's this? We gotta pay attention here. The sa it sounds like um, it sounds like a ringing phone almost. Actually, it's it's those old uh, rotary phones. After you would like dial a number, it's the sound it would make when it when it turned around the other way. So that was his corpse. Where's it taking me now? It's like mid explosion, I think. Creature. Okay, we're all the way on the other side. Who's here? Throw the powder. Okay, that's the guy with the tattoos. He's got a sword. It's probably right before he gets scooped up. Oh, man. I don't know if that guy is dead or not. Someone else below. I can't look at them. So who's dying here? That guy's fine. This seems less like a death and more like just an event that occurred. Okay. Part six. I didn't even see. We don't know enough about them. I didn't really see a corpse. Or was there one on the ground that I missed? Oh, was the person in in the air of the corpse? Is that person dead? Maybe it's this person. No, it was like, I think it's. Oh, there is a body in there. 
Ah. Uh, ah, uh, what is that? Blown up? I guess blown up? I have no idea who it is. Burned, crushed, decapitated, drowned. There's options for alive. Unknown, huh? Exploded. <laughs> Blasted by an explosion. I don't know what else to say. And I have no idea who that is. I guess that's the way out of the memory. We should be able to figure out who this is. If you know, let me know in the comments section if you figured out who this is, because I don't know how we can be sure. Two memories. That's pretty cool how how it's indexed like this. So you can work through it pretty easily. Show memories on the deck map. I'm going to go back to the list. Carpenter, a cook. I'm like tempted, but how would I know this is the butcher? I was thinking, yeah, Irish or Scottish, maybe. I don't know. I don't think we heard enough. Let me let me know in the comment section if you figured out who that is based on what we've seen. I'm assuming that we're going to be able to go down there now. This is going to open up. I didn't expect this to be like, um, there to be like supernatural creatures in this. Can I go down? So cool. Oh, I am digging this a lot. I, I didn't know what to expect and I I am pleasantly surprised. Yeah, so I can go down here now. Very cool. I'm going to take a break here, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, I always ask on the first video only. Do uh, like the video and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Um, let me know what you think about this game. It's, uh, pretty unique. It kind of reminds me of, uh, I mean, not, obviously not the gameplay is similar, but the feeling it's giving me of, like, discovery and mystery and intrigue kind of reminds me of The Witness, and I love that game. That was, like, one of my, one of my favorite games, favorite experiences from a few years ago. It's really weird. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. This is Luckless Lovelock signing off for now. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And I love you all.